Oh, that guy. I think I saw him before. It looks like you don't know anything about him. He loves reading books so much that everyone around him starts calling him the library owner. My name is Kent Honda. As you can see, I'm just an ordinary second year university student. Geez, it's annoying how people just regard me as the library owner when they don't even know me. Due to the trauma I had during my childhood, I mostly like to spend my time in the library alone. Which is probably the reason why I was labeled as the library owner. At last, I finished reading the chapter. Maybe I should try reading another genre to refresh my mind. I've been reading textbooks a lot nowadays, so I think it's time for me to read a novel. Half of my unhappy life being born as a rich person. I wonder why the author chose such a title for this book. But seems interesting, maybe I should give it a try. Oh, sorry about that. Huh? Oh, n n never mind about that. Please go ahead. It's alright, I can pick another book instead. No, you don't have to do that. Please don't hesitate. I usually come here for the novels, so I always read this one the next time I come back. What, well, if it's alright with you, then I'll read it first. Gosh, she's really pretty. She has such a lovely smile and carries herself with elegance when she speaks. Well then, I'll see you around. Yeah, yes, see you around. I wonder if she's a regular in this library. I really hope we can meet again soon. I didn't expect that my wish would come true that fast. Huh? Seems that she wants to get something. Almost there. I should feel it soon. Oh no, she's gonna fall. I got it. Huh? Yikes! Hey, watch out. Ouch. That didn't hurt as much as I'd expected it to. Ah, uh, are you all right? Oh my god, I'm really sorry. What am I doing? Don't worry about that. Sorry, I'm such a klutz. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Uh, we should probably stand up. Huh? Sorry, that was thoughtless of me. N never mind about that. After all, I'm glad you're not hurt. I, I saw a novel I really wanted to read, and I was kind of obsessed with getting the book. I just didn't pay attention to my own safety. I just really love classic literature. Now I understand why I don't see you often in the studying zone. <laughs> To be honest, I'm not good at studying, and I don't like it anyway. By the way, you're always reading such thick books all day. I was wondering what kind of book you were reading. She's too close to me. Frankly speaking, she really does have a nice body. Thank you very much. Um, could you tell me your name? So her name is Mana Furumi, and also a second year university student. Both me and Mana love to read books, so we soon bonded quickly over our similar hobbies. We spent so much time together that we didn't even realize that the library was about to close, so we decided to go home together. What kind of book did you read today? I read Sosuke Natsume's book. I don't even remember when was the last time I read his book. What about you, Kent? I was reading textbooks as usual. Are you not interested in reading novel book? Well, it's not that I'm not interested. Sometimes I read novels just for entertainment after reading some textbook. It's weird how your version of taking a break is to read novels while others just take naps or head to the cafeteria. Maybe that's why everyone thinks I'm weird. Anyway, what do you think about me? Jeez, why are you asking me that kind of question out of the blue? I think you're nice. Really? People say that those who love reading mostly aren't bad people. I think the same way too. I've been seeing you at the library almost every day and I really admire you. What? Is this a love confession? Maybe it's just my imagination. By the way, Kent, if you don't mind, would you like to be my boyfriend? What? Seriously? Honestly speaking, I'm flattered. But I think it's just too early for us to start a love relationship since we barely know each other. I wonder what her true feeling towards me is. I'm sorry to trouble you by saying this kind of thing all of a sudden, but I just want you to know that I really like you. For heaven's sake, she's just too cute to refuse. I wonder how she will react if I refuse her offer. I it's not that I don't want to, but I think we should slow down and just take our time. Really? Please take care of me from now on. Wait a minute. I didn't say that I agreed yet. Mana confessed her love to me and we started to date each other unexpectedly. A week later, the second semester began. Literary history class. If it weren't for Mana, I wouldn't have been interested. Look who's here. I don't think the library owner should be here. These two people are the bullies from primary school. I really don't want to deal with these idiots. I didn't know that both of you are studying at this university. I didn't even notice your presence. Don't be rude, cat. We've been friends since primary school. 
You know that. People are talking about an introverted nerd who spends most of his time at the library. When was the last time you got out of the library? You don't have to attend any lectures since your family is rich. Your life is guaranteed by your parents. It's none of your business. I can do whatever the hell I want. Are you trying to pick a fight? Even when you create trouble, your rich parents will protect you with their money, won't they? What a lucky brat. <laughs> Enough with this. You just want me to leave this place, right? Where are you going, rich boy? Are you heading to the library again? <laughs> none of your business. Just leave me alone. I shouldn't have done that, running away from the people who made fun of me. I'm just repeating what I did when I was at primary school. How pathetic. Kent! Uh, why did you just leave the classroom like that? The orientation was about to begin. You need to get back. I have no doubt that Mana heard my conversations just now. I think I have no choice but to tell her everything about my family. Mana, tell me what you think about rich people. Why are you suddenly asking about that? Uh, by the way, I just remember the title of the book that I took at the time. I think the title is Half of My Unhappy Life Being Born as a Rich Person, isn't it? Uh, did you have a bad experience related to money in the past? Actually, I was born in a rich family. My parents run a company. I'm happy for you, and I think it's a good thing you should be proud of. I had a friend during primary school, but apparently she only wanted to be my friend because I was rich. I overheard the conversation she had with her friend that she wanted to be friends with me because of my family background. Oh dear, that's horrible. I don't know her true feelings, but since that time, somehow I feel that the people who are willing to be my friend just care about how rich my family is. I just don't want you to know that my family is rich. I'm afraid that if you know the truth, you'll treat me as the son of a rich family and decide to end our relationship. Hold it right there! Wh what I was just... Whoa, what are you doing? Let's go on a date from now. I'm renting an apartment nearby, so come with me. Huh? I don't know what happened to you in the past. When you're feeling down, I think it's best to enjoy some food and relax. That's the best solution I can think of for now. How can I relax when I feel something soft against my arm in this close proximity? Mana, please calm down for a while. I'm suddenly dragged inside Mana's house. I'm gonna start cooking, so please sit here and wait for a while until I finish. Uh, okay then. Mana looks so beautiful in her cooking apron. Moreover, her room is very neat and tidy. I have no doubt that she's good at doing house chores. L let's eat. Wow, it's really delicious. Are you feeling better now? Yeah, much better. Thanks, Mana. I really appreciate it. Anyway, have you ever been in a relationship? Most of the people I met always like to make fun of me because I like to read, so... That time I only believed that love exists only in books. That's until I met you. I don't care whether you're rich or not. I decided to confess my love for you because I believe that you're the person whom I can share good memories with. Honestly, I was surprised that time. I didn't expect to receive a love confession from you. Well, it can't be helped. I realized that just talking isn't going to help build a romantic relationship, so I decided to take matters into my own hands and confess to you. Since you were being a little hesitant, it got me upset. We just got to know each other's feelings, and then you were already thinking about ending our whole relationship. Thinking about it now, I realize that you confessed your love to me before you even know about my family. I'm sorry for being such a jerk to you. It's not your fault. So, are we going to continue our relationship from now on? The answer for that? Yes, of course. Phew. I was really nervous. Are you alright? It's my first time telling other people the truth about my family. Also, I'm glad to have found someone who likes me for just me and not because I'm some rich kid. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that from you. By the way, the moon is very beautiful today, isn't it? K Kent, are you telling me that you... Huh? What's the matter? Oh, I just remembered that Sosuke Natsumi translated the words I love you into the moon is very beautiful. There is no way that a novel lover like Mana will forget about this. Mana, please listen to me. I mean... I'm really happy to hear that. This kind and beautiful girl has done so much for me, but I don't even have the courage to express my feelings for her. I need to tell her how I feel. I didn't expect that whatever I've been reading in fairy tales could come true. Mana, I just want you to know that I... You don't have to use words to express how you feel toward me, Kent. I can feel it already. So, would you let me kiss you again? Yes. With this, we're officially boyfriend and girlfriend.
A month has passed after that, and I no longer feel awkward when holding hands with Mana. Are we going to buy a new vacuum cleaner today? Yes, you're right! I really need your help since I don't have any knowledge about machines. I'm not sure if I have the knowledge, but I'll do my best. Hey, Kent! I can't believe a library owner like you can get a girl. <laughs> Why did you choose to be with this nerd, babe? You're cute and you can find a better person. Why don't you spend your time with us instead? Are you targeting the money his parents have? That's brilliant anyway. <laughs> These idiots! I had enough! It looks like some people know how rich your family is. Are they your childhood friends? I think it's very rude of them to say such things to you like that. What? I thought you listened to my conversations with these guys during the lecture. I have no idea what you're talking about. I was concentrating on the preparation of the lecture, and I didn't realize what was happening until I saw you leaving the classroom. I didn't know that you were born in a rich family until you told me everything last time. So that means I misunderstood everything that time. Hey, don't you dare ignore us. Excuse me, I have no intention to be in a relationship with a person other than Kent. Better luck next time. Huh? What did you say? Well, Kent is a very kind and lovely person. He also studies hard and has a good table manner. Moreover, he likes books as much as I do. J jeez she's boasting off. Therefore, even if he doesn't come from a rich family, I still think that he's a charming person. Well then, have a nice day. Y yeah have a nice day. What an amazing way of getting rid of those two. I mean, I didn't know that she cares for me that much. Let's get going, Kent. Y yeah let's go. I don't think I'll ever meet a person who loves me this much. Honestly, I want to spend the rest of my life together with Mana. After that, we often have dates at Mana's house, which is nearer to the university. Is that the one that was newly published this week? Yeah, it's a popular romance novel written by a person called Love Comedy. The story is quite interesting. If you're interested in the book, why don't we read it together? Oh, okay then. It looks like Mana has been quite bold since we grew closer. Well, I don't mind the close proximity at all. The book is pretty, and I also like the illustrations. Let's see what's on the next page. Oh, sorry about that. No worries. I just remember that the same thing happened when we met each other for the first time. Oh yes, I remember the title of that book. The main character in that book ended up losing hope, but I was just wondering about you. Are you happy now, Ken? Huh? Why are you asking that now? I think you already know my answer. Of course I'm happy. I won't ever let you down as long as you're with me. Let's live a happy life together. Of course. I'll be by your side as long as you want me to. Thus, I, who had a complex about my rich parents, found a beautiful and lovely girlfriend who also loves books. I spent happy times with Mana as I hoped that this relationship would last forever. Thank you for watching again. It would make me so happy if we could watch another rom-com story together. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. See you next time. Bye!